Ever pondered the intriguing paradox of a world where deception and injustice often seem to reign, where individuals amass wealth through dubious means and deem themselves victorious? Yet, when they face persecution without warning, they cry foul, feeling wronged and unjustly treated. From the lens of divine justice, this scenario appears to be perfectly balanced. Divine justice does not operate on a linear cause and effect basis, rather it maintains an overall equilibrium. To put it simply, even if a person's unscrupulous actions go unnoticed and unpunished, they will face a balancing impact elsewhere. This is the concept of settling the total account. Moreover, divine wealth differs greatly from worldly wealth. In the mortal realm, we might witness an individual gain wealth through unscrupulous methods, but in the divine realm, such actions result in a depletion of their moral capital or virtue. Conversely, virtuous individuals may suffer material losses, but they accumulate virtue in the divine realm. Hence, when we seek wealth, we should reflect on the goodness of our actions. If they lack virtue, the wealth we gain will be fleeting, and we will lose our moral capital in the divine realm. On the other hand, virtuous individuals can transfer the wealth they cannot carry in the mortal realm to the divine realm. Once we understand these principles, we can navigate how to act. We should strive for virtue, recognizing that our actions will have repercussions in the divine realm. In doing so, we can find a balance between human and divine justice, leading a more harmonious and fulfilling life. To summarize in human justice, we often see injustice and deception, but divine justice maintains an overall equilibrium. The wealth in the divine realm is different from worldly wealth, and our actions in seeking wealth should be virtuous. Understanding these principles allows us to find a balance between human and divine justice, leading to a more fulfilling life.